So, um, tell me a little bit about yourself. Well, I grew up in, uh, I'm originally Dutch, but I grew up in Austria since I was 15. I started getting into the instructing and the mountaineering uh, after spending 11 years in Austria. I uh, did a couple of competitions to the free ride, ski across, and I ended up here in Val d'Isère. And now I do the off piece guiding, instructing trainings, uh, trainings, workshop clinics. And how long have you been in Val d'Isère? Uh, this is my 10th season, 10 years, yeah, altogether 10 years. Yeah. Excellent. And what are you going to be doing with the GAP course? With the GAP course, we'll um, make people aware of the. Um, of the, the equipment we're going to use for the off-piste, we're going to train the people uh, uh, how to ski in the off-piste and how to behave and uh, yeah, we just, we'll make them uh, aware of the, the massive environment they're in. Yeah. Okay. And uh, the lecture you're going to do at the start of the course, what's that all about? Well, the lecture is all about the, uh, the awareness of uh, avalanches equipment-wise uh, how to um, how to make snow profiles and to see in the uh, in, in the off piece how, uh, how it really goes when you get into that. Okay, so I'm going to ask you a couple more questions. I know you don't like this, amigo. No. So, so, amigo, what qualifications uh, do you hold, and, and and what's okay? So I'm going to ask this again. I'm going to ask what qualifications do you have, and uh, what, and who do you coach? So maybe like mention the Austrian. Of, uh, you're an Austrian, I don't know exactly what you are, but you're an Austrian trainer, aren't you? An Austrian trainer and ski guide, yeah. And, and, and off, so you train ski instructors? I train ski instructors in, in off, Austria. Off-piste, yeah. is that right? Or do you just do the whole off training? Off-piste and on-piste, yeah. Okay. Right, so I'll just go... So, Amigo, tell us a little bit about your qualifications. I'm Austrian qualified um, as an, uh, an off-piste trainer. That's what we train um, instructors to become an instructor on-piste. Which involves, of course, also the uh, off piece, and um, yeah. So you stay um, up to date with the latest ski techniques, on piece or off piece. Excellent. And uh, did you do your Aspiron Kid qualifications? I did my uh, yeah in 2002. I spent the money in Chamonix, and I realized uh, actually in the summer I like to be on the sea. So instead of that, I uh, I left it. Uh, to the guy to live here the whole year round and spend the summers on the mountain. Excellent. So what do you do in the summer? In the summer I uh, work on the beach. I do uh, events for companies, surfing, kite surfing, mountain biking, uh, you name it. Paddle boarding, stand up paddle boarding, the new upcoming sport. You're the ultimate all-rounder then, aren't you, amigo? Well, I try to make uh, life a little bit uh, uh, joyful. That's good. Okay, and uh, I'm going to ask you that question about the lecture, the off-piste lecture again. So, uh, the off-piste lecture is more about kind of about safety. So, it's just say something like at the start of the course, uh, I do give a video presentation, video uh, slides, presentation and talk about um, avalanche awareness and safety to make sure that you guys have a safe time but still really enjoying the off-piste or something like that, something punchy and short, yeah? Okay, so Amigo, tell us a little bit about the lecture you do at the start of the course. Well, at the start of the course we have a lecture about uh, the equipment you use in the off-piste, we have a lecture about uh, uh, snow and avalanche awareness, weather situations, uh, all, the, um, all the, the, the things you need to know when you go off-piste. So it's a safety. To it. It's about keeping safe in the mountains. It's about keeping safe in the mountains. It's about keeping uh, uh, to behave on the right way in the mountains. Excellent. All right. Thanks, amigo. Always. Ciao. Thank you very much. Bye. <laughs> Bye.